And still talking security, the Kasina State Governor Amido Bello Masari has signed into law the Security Challenges Containment Order with a view to closing some of the security gaps in the state. The 12-point order, which takes immediate effect today, or takes immediate effect, totally bans the transportation of Katu from Kasina State to any other part of the country. Correspondent Abdul Latif Yusuf reports. These steps taken by the state government are among many efforts made by the authorities to checkmate insecurity by all means. The recent prohibition signed into law by the government will include ban on conveyance of firewood, which is predominantly used by many as a source of energy and other means to supply items to the bandits. Some residents welcome the new measures despite the inconveniences they are bound to cause the people. There has to be a measure that should be used to control the movement of these bandits. If you look at the order, it, specifically, it was specifically targeted at the bandits because it includes the issue of uh, selling cattle, selling petrol and uh, unusual movement. So it's a very strategic order and uh, with this we hope things will begin to to, to, to go back to normal. The Kazuna State Director General Media Services further explain what to expect. Major markets located in Jibia, Bazari, Safana, Damusa, Gankara, Malumfashi, Charenchi, Meyadua, Kafur, Foskari, Sabwa, Bore, Dutsama, and Keta local government areas will be affected by the ban. By taking this measure against selling of any animals in any market in the, in the state, it's a very, very good and proactive measure. But even more importantly, you see, is the prohibition of sales of petrol in Jerichans, but even, like I said, more importantly, in some of the key local governments. The order also limits the sale of fuel of not more than 5,000 to motorists to only two designated filling stations in the front and local government.